Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make gluten-free ham and cheese crescent rolls. These were a popular recipe back in the day when I was growing up. My mom used to make them for dinner parties, but I also think they would work really well as an after-school snack for kids or even putting them in their lunch boxes because they're just as good at room temperature. So let's get started. Okay you guys, I took out a little bit of my gluten-free crescent roll dough from the freezer. I put it in the fridge overnight and then about 10 to 15 minutes ago I pulled it out of the fridge and let it come to a little bit more cool room temperature so I could easily roll it out. If you haven't seen that video yet please go to my gluten-free crescent roll dough video and you'll see just how easy it is to make this dough. You can store it in your freezer or your fridge for a few days, but I'd recommend storing for longer term in your freezer because it does have eggs in it and you don't want it in your fridge for longer than that. So I'm gonna roll this out into a rectangle that's about 1 8 of an inch thick. Don't get so hung up on the size of the rectangle as opposed to the thickness of the dough. All right, so make sure it's not sticking on the bottom and then brush off any excess flour. By the way, you could always use my gluten-free puff pastry dough for this or even a store-bought gluten-free puff pastry dough if you wanna take that easy way out. Um, I'm just not fond of any of the store-bought ones. I think they are way too expensive for the quality you get. So I'm just uh, trimming off the edges here but don't throw away these scraps because you can still uh, roll them out and use them again for, for this or for any other pastry you want to roll out. I have plenty of recipes on my website for how you can use these scraps basically in anything you're making the original with. So make sure though you don't just like ball them up. Place them nice and neatly in a sheet of plastic wrap like this and basically layer them on top of each other so you'll keep those flaky layers when you go to roll them out again. You won't get, get quite as much puffiness as the first time, but there's no need to waste them. Okay, so now we can layer on the ham slices. These are just regular deli ham, sliced thin, and on the, this particular one, I'm layering four slices. But I will say the recipe actually makes double this amount, so I'm only using a quarter of the dough uh, that I got out of my freezer, the crescent dough. So this will actually make 44 to 45 if you do the full recipe. Like I said, this is half the recipe, so I'm only going to make about 20 so, 22 or so um, little spirals. So now we can squirt the mustard on and add the cheese, and you can change up the mustard, change up the cheese to whatever you like. I think the original was Swiss cheese and I prefer cheddar, so that's what I'm using. I just shredded up my own block of cheddar. Um, you could also change up the uh, mustard. You could use Dijon mustard, um, spicy brown mustard perhaps, anything that is your favorite. Just make it your own. I do that all the time with recipes. Okay, that's all that goes into the roll, and now we can just start rolling it up like a big cinnamon roll. This dough is so easy to work with, you guys, and it really produces such great results. It is one of my new favorite like pastry doughs that I've made. And once you get it all nice and rolled up, um, just flip it over and kind of um, pinch the seam there. I just kind of like press it down and it kind of sticks to itself. Okay, so now I am brushing it with just a little bit of water. I found that water works best for this as opposed to like oil or melted butter or something like that. Just all we need is something for the sesame seeds to be able to stick to. So we're gonna roll these in sesame seeds and as you can see, I don't have many sesame seeds. I, when I was creating the video, I thought I had more, <laughs> but I didn't and I was not gonna go back to the store just for sesame seeds. So this was plenty though. Each of the uh, pinwheels got some sesame seeds on it. In the recipe, I actually have the proper amount. So I'm gonna put this on a sheet tray and I'm actually gonna put it in the freezer for just about like five to seven minutes or so until it gets nice and firm like this and then I can slice it. So we're gonna slice this into half inch thick slices and place them on a cookie sheet or a baking sheet lined with parchment. 
and I've got my oven preheated at 375 Fahrenheit. See how pretty they are? They really are a pretty um, perfect appetizer or a little snack or whatever. And they cut so well too when the dough is just a little bit chilled. In fact, you could freeze the entire roll and slice them like halfway thawed or you can slice them and then freeze the slices and bake them for a few minutes longer. I have all that information in the recipe on my blog which of course is always linked in the description box below the video. So we're gonna bake these for 17 to 20 minutes or until they come out looking like this. They are slightly puffed. They're slightly like forced open a little bit. The cheese on the inside is like kind of crusty from where it hit the oven and melted and the outside has the crunchy sesame seeds. These are just such an addictive treat. They are absolutely perfect for a party as an appetizer, but I'm telling you, I bet your kids would love them as an after-school snack. Enjoy!